Israeli airstrike has killed three adult sons of a top Hamas leader. That leader, who runs the group's political wing, has been engaged in negotiations with Israel and says the loss of his three sons will not affect the resolve of Hamas. Israel confirms the strike and says all three sons were Hamas military operatives. Correspondent Alex Kadia is in Tel Aviv with more. Well, we'll have to wait and see to see exactly what the fallout of that Israeli airstrike killing the three sons of Hamas's political leader will be. Uh, we understand the Israeli Defense Forces say the three sons were en route to carry out terror activity in central Gaza. No details about exactly what that activity was going to be. They've also had no comment from the Israeli forces on the four grandchildren allegedly also killed in the same vehicle, in the same strike. Ismail Haniyeh, the political leader of Hamas, whose sons were killed, says uh, that Israel is delusional if it thinks that targeting his sons at the climax of the ceasefire uh, negotiations will help soften or change Hamas's position. That's what we've seen, a hardening of Hamas's position in the last few hours, a position that was already fairly uncompromising. Hamas saying they do not want to compromise on their key demands when it comes to these ceasefire negotiations. So still a very challenging road ahead when it comes to the hostages being released and a ceasefire being agreed. The also, the other challenge, I should say, is aid getting into Gaza. The Israelis say they now plan to flood Gaza with aid, but it's important to provide context that a month ago the Israeli Defense Forces also made that promise, and clearly that has not come to pass. Prime Minister Netanyahu said the port of Ashdod will be open for humanitarian supplies. As far as we can tell, that hasn't happened, nor has the opening of the Ares checkpoint in the north of the Gaza Strip. We understand that uh, Israeli security checks in the last six months have removed some items from uh, trucks going into Gaza, including anesthetics and chocolate croissants and wheelchairs and crutches and sleeping bags, as well as oxygen tanks, generators and other supplies. That is one of the charges against the Israelis that aid agencies are making. They say, sure, the number of trucks has definitely increased. We're about to hit 500 trucks going into Gaza today, but they aren't full because Israeli security checks remove a lot of items. So clearly, uh, getting aid to Gaza remains a profound challenge. Alex Kadier, Scripps News, Tel Aviv.